everybody, BG Shine here, and welcome back to quite possibly the final episode of Twilight Princess HD Critical Mode. In the last episode, we entered the castle, we climbed up some chandeliers, we took down a few tough enemies, and we got ourselves the boss key that we need to infiltrate the boss's lair. I mean, yeah, that's basically what a boss key does. All right, so now we are about to enter the third floor of this dungeon. So yeah, looking at the map here, we are almost done. Yep, we just got a few more rooms to do. So yeah, this could probably possibly be the final episode unless I decide to cut this halfway through. Which I probably will, considering like uh, what the boss actually is. Alright, so I vaguely recall this place, and I vaguely recall I'm hating this room. I don't remember why that is. Oh. Me. I mean, there's ghost rats. Alright. And yeah, these guys will point you into the right, into the right direction, because yeah, the wrong direction will lead to death, as I had just demonstrated. Maybe I shouldn't have demonstrated because, yeah, that's gonna cost me four hearts. Yeah. Alright. So we go this way. We go that way. And we go that way. I could try breaking these skulls, but I don't want to risk it. Alright. Let's see, so we go this way. Wow, great commentary, right guys? Yeah, I believe, I believe we're safe now. So yeah, let's progress. Ooh. Yeah, Zelda, I think you need some maintenance on these stairs. Cause yeah, I don't think normal people are gonna be able to, gonna be able to get across there. Cause yeah. Yeah, I, I just had to I just had to climb myself up in order, to, in order to get up here. Yeah. So yeah, definitely get on that. Thank you. All right. Get you guys down and miss miss one of you like a genius. Good job. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna use my red potion before I fight the boss. Um. Yep, I can hear the mu I can vaguely hear the music. It's definitely getting it's definitely getting more serious. Kind of reminds me of like the like the Ganon's Tower from the Ocarina of Time. Wow. Yep, I had the volume turned down very low so it doesn't get picked up by the mic as much. But yeah, I can definitely hear the ambience getting a bit more extreme. All right. All right. Hopefully this works this time. Rawr! Yep. There we go. Yep. Sheath my sword. I can buy it. All right. I'm okay. Yep. This part. Yep. We're gonna need our spinner for this. All right. Here we go. Wow. Good job. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? <sighs> okay, time to drink my potion now. Okay, seriously, can I actually... Oh! Alright, alright, let's, come on. Gotta get serious now. 
There's no time to clown around. All right, there we go. Ow. Ugh. Wow, I am really messing up this part. Yeah, this is this part is easier than I made it look like. Cause yeah, I'm stupid apparently. But hey, we are at the final room before the boss door. And of course, we gotta take this guy out in order to get to him. Come on, you, you look you don't look any different from the other ones. I got you. So, how's everyone doing? I'm doing fantastic. We are almost done with the main game. After this, there's just the bonus content, like the Cave of Shadows. Yeah. I am dreading the Cave of Shadows. I mean, I could have done the Cave of Shadows before I did this place, but uh, yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do the Cave of Shadows like the, like right after the Cave of Ordeals. Yeah. There's only so much gauntlet, like enemy gauntlets, that I can take at one time, you know? Yeah, you got you gotta space them out. Alright. Come on. Do your thing. Alright. And another iron knuckle goes down. And yeah, we got this uh, giant boss door here. We also have a, a side room. Yep, this side room is the very reason that we went to that hidden area in the courtyard a few episodes ago. Because yeah, with our extra small key, we have unlocked the treasure room! Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna break everything in here first. You know, just to just to build up just to build up the suspense. What could be inside these treasure chests? Oh! A fairy! Yes! Definitely needed one of those. Fairy in a bottle! Yay! Alright. So, let's start opening these chests. Cue Chimlin voice! Five rupees! Ten rupees! Twenty rupees! Yay, the rupees values keep increasing! Bombs! Twenty of them! Yay! Arrows! Twenty of them! I totally didn't need those, but hey, they're there! More bombs! Yay! I believe we are now maxed on bombs! 50 seeds! Use them with your slingshot! You know, the one that you haven't used since you got the bow and arrows. More arrows that you don't need because you're already full on them. Yeah, Alright, what is inside? These big chests. 50 rupees! Bomb rings! You know, those... Oh, actually, I have used those in this playthrough. They're actually very useful if you remember that they're there. 200 rupees! Yeah! And we, and we found the Happy Zelda stamp. So that makes uh, 49 stamps. So I believe that this means... We get the Trilly Midna stamp automatically. You've collected 49 stamps. Well done. Here is a special stamp as a reward. So yeah, this is kind of a spoiler if you haven't actually seen the ending yet. But in the last chest... A hundred rupees. Yep. Our wallet is uh, almost full right now. We have like 1677. I think that's plenty for the, for the final boss. So yeah. All right. All right, Ganondorf. It's time. Ooh, barrels. Yay. All right, Ganondorf. It's time to end this. Right now. Wow, Link is pretty strong, like opening the gate like that with his bare hands. He is amazing. Wow. 
Yep. Dark clouds filling the sky. Definitely sets the mood for the final stage of this game. So up the stairs we go. To the final hallway. We saw that cutscene back in episode 3. Yep. We have reached the throne room of Zelda. Is that statue supposed to be me? I don't know. What do you mean, no? I want to save her. Come on. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. Well, he still has a sword that pierced him so long ago. Hmm. I've been dying to meet you. Wow, that grin smile. <laughs> wow. Your people have long amused me, Midna. To defy the gods of such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. Pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Ha! Such conceit! Well, if you're one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I will risk any, everything to deny you. Shadows. Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. <laughs> what is with all these grin smiles? My god. Very well. Deny me, then. Yes. Try to deny me. You and your little friend. Uh-oh. What's he doing? Ah, uh, crap. This isn't good. Wow! Yeah, I'd say she's definitely dead. Oh well, we tried. I... can't do it. Wow. And yeah, I gotta say, this is actually a cool concept for a fight. Fighting a possessed Zelda. Wow. Both of you, faithless fools who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. <laughs> so you choose. And so you shall feel my wrath. And here we go, the first phase of this fight. Ganon's puppet, Zelda. Okay, wouldn't let me move, but uh, I can move now. So yeah, this basically works uh, similarly to the, to, the, to the first phase of, of the Ganondorf fight in the Ocarina of Time. You just gotta not basically basically play volleyball with Zelda until until you know she eventually misses. Yep. I don't remember if you're supposed to do something else. Oops. Right. I think you're just supposed to like hit her three times and then it's oh 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 ah 
Oh yeah, that's 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 her technique from a uh, Hyrule Warriors. I didn't think she could use that against me. Like, oh well. All right, we'll manage. All right, more volleyball. Serving. And that sturdy love link. Well, actually, she's serving, so it would be like love 30, but uh, whatever. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, she, this phase of the fight is uh, pretty easy, you just gotta be careful. Uh oh. Wow, if that hit me there, I would have been embarrassed. Okay, come on. Come on. Do your thing. Well, not, well, not that thing, like the other thing, you know? Alright. You gonna serve or what? Jesus. Here we go. And yeah, I guess the further away you are, the easier this part is, but, uh... Yeah, it's all about timing. And there we go. We hit her three times, and uh, that's that's the end of the first phase. Oh boy, here we go. Spider meant to go! Relinquish the darkness, apparently. I guess, I don't know. And yay! Zelda's back! And. So is Ganondorf, apparently. <laughs> I love that. Uh oh. Yep. Here we go. Up against Ganon, the Dark Beast. And he still has that scar he got from the Sages long ago. Uh oh. Yep. Yep, for this fight, we gotta be beasts as well. I mean, I guess you could try doing it as a human, but, uh. Yeah, I, I think there's like multiple ways you could go about this, but I'm gonna go about this way, cause, cause yeah, that's the way I feel like doing it. Okay, stop rampaging. Alright. You gotta push him like, like we did the ghosts. Rah! And down goes Ganon. Yep, now you just gotta bite him in the stomach, bite him in his weak spot, and there we go. And he just disappears. All right, where'd he go? Uh oh. All right. There we go. Here he comes. <laughs> yep. Just gotta pay attention. And push him when he comes. And down goes Fraser again, as a legend would say. Yes. Let's bite him in the stomach. Yep. There we go. We're doing well so far. Yeah, this is easy. Alright. Uh oh. And yeah, sometimes he'll fall from the sky like that. I, I definitely did not remember that at all. Alright, charge at me, bro. Urgh. And with the hand of Midna, you go down! And yeah, if this were boxing, this would be a TKO right there. But yeah, again, it is not, it's not going down that easily, unfortunately. All right. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. 
And yeah, I really don't really have anything else clever to say except down goes Tyson, and and they continues to bite him in the stomach. I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Yep, we're back to the portals again. Oh, there he comes. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think so. You go down. Oosh. And I think this is gonna be it. Nope. Oh. Wow, he is he is very les very resilient. Alright, is he gonna do something different? Up oh. uh oh. I almost missed that. Up oh. Okay, yeah, I better better drink this, you know, just in case. Also, he's coming right at me, so I should probably move! Alright. I'm ready now. There we go. There we go. Throw him. And... Down he goes! Arr, bite, 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 bite! And yep... That is the end of Phase 2. Yeah, you think that would be the end, but uh, no, we still have, like, two more phases to do. Yep, now we know who the Superior Beast is. I mean, I had, like, help on, like, the Twilight, but, uh, yeah. Well, actually, so did he, technically, so yeah, I'm still better. What's that? Finna, you're glowing. And yep, the power that Zelda gave to Minna has been returned. Yeah, I still don't get what happened to Zelda after she, after she gave her gave her Minna's power like gave Minna her power, but uh hey, she's okay. Say nothing, Minna. Um okay, I, I'll I'll say nothing then. Your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny to me. Oh boy, it's Andros. No! Don't do it! That spider form is totally ugly and doesn't suit you! Okay, uh, bye I guess. You can take care of, take care of the Ga Andros, I guess. Alright, Andros versus Spider. Who's gonna win? Of course, we don't get to see what happens in that fight. So sad. <laughs> 